Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to your guys' biggest hopes for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. A couple weeks back, I posted on the community tab of my channel, asking you guys to let me know, what are you hoping to see in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? What do you hope appears in these games? What are you hopeful will not appear? I want to collect all of your thoughts, and I'm gonna react to them right here, right now. Let's get right into it here. There were over a hundred comments that you guys left on the community tab post a couple weeks back. If you guys are not actively checking out the community tab on this channel, I would highly recommend it. I post polls every time a new video goes live, discussions when various news things come up, GIFs and different images to react to various things that I don't have time to post a full video on. There's a lot of fun stuff going on over there. So if you guys are not checking that out weekly, be sure to go and check out the community tab and you can participate in videos like like this as well. The first comment that we're going to be taking a look at comes from Zach and it says the quality of life changes that Pokemon Legends Arceus brought to the table like being able to go into your party and choose when your Pokemon evolves, changing moves on the go, etc. 10 of you also agreed these are the things that Zach wants to see in Scarlet and Violet. I completely agree. This gets a check mark in my opinion, there's really no reason why this shouldn't be the central aspect of quality of life features in Pokemon games moving forward. All the changes made perfect sense. Cool Flash Kid says something I would love to see in the games is incorporating a more open world aspect similar to Breath of the Wild, where you can go to any area or challenge gyms in any order. The areas can scale to the number of badges you have, and maybe some areas can be locked behind specific ride Pokemon. It's interesting because I think Game Freak has done things similar to this in the past. You have had gym options in previous games. Granted, it's been a couple generations now. You've had specific things locked behind ride Pokemon. This is Game Freak's big task with Scarlet and Violet, taking that open world formula that we know is going to exist in Scarlet and Violet's region, and then mixing it with some of the long-standing features Pokemon has always had. If they can put these two things together, I think they have a really good formula on their hands. Riot Kitty said, I want to see improved traversal options where we could ride, climb, and surf a select amount of Pokemon in our parties. There's two ways you could take this comment, and I, I think I agree both ways. One of them is what Pokemon can be used. I think they need to dramatically expand the number of Pokemon that can be used as mounts. I think Listen, in a perfect world, every Pokemon should be able to be used. It improves the immersion factor for the game. It allows you to kind of work it with the team you have. I think it does a lot of good things. I think it's a natural evolution of HMs as well. So if you take it that way, then I completely agree and it should be improved. If you're just talking about ways you traverse, I can see that too. They're going to have to come up with some concepts. I can't really pull brand new traveling mechanics out of my head. Maybe a hot air balloon with Drift Blim or something like that would be cool. I think all of that would be fun. Skull Cruncher says, honestly, my biggest hope is that it'll be simple and easy to breed Pokemon, along with being easy to change natures. Also, another pipe dream is that I always have with every new generation, of course, is visiting an old region like in Gen 2. Listen, I agree with you. I think we should be able to visit previous regions, I think. It was one of the most wonderfully nuanced world-building feature of Generation 2 and of Generation 2's remakes. I think it should return, I just, I have my doubts that it will. When it comes to breeding, I think breeding is pretty simple nowadays. I think natures are still pretty confusing, but hopefully that'll all return with this being a a mainline new generation. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Twisted Electro says, my main hope is for more regional variants. It's been my favorite Pokemon feature since its introduction in generation seven, and they seem to be getting better and better with every game. I agree. Regional variants, and I've said this a couple times in videos now, it's probably the best quote-unquote gimmick Pokemon has ever added. It is fantastic. Tim says, crafting your own items if needed and the whole game be open world as opposed to wild areas. This gets a check mark from me. I think crafting is a natural expansion of what the Pokemon formula is all about. I think they did a good job of kind of tinkering with it a little bit in Legends Arceus, and it worked really well for what Legends was, but I would love to see this idea expanded. I think being able to craft 
a variety of items that you would regularly buy just makes a lot of sense for what it means to be a Pokemon trainer. If you're a Pokemon trainer in the world of Pokemon, you're out in the wild for long expanses of time. If you've ever seen Ash and his crew in the anime traveling, they're in the woods or on what we would consider routes in the games for episodes at a time without seeing a city or a town. To be able to make these items as need be with the natural resources around you, I think just helps that immersion factor. And with the wild areas, I agree. This game is going to attempt it. This is going to be a much more seamless experience. We'll see if they can stick the landing. Helix Hero says, I want references to previous Pokemon regions and characters and established lore because that was missing from Sword and Shield. I would challenge you. I agree. Let me for the first part. I think I love seeing references to regions, characters, lore. I've talked about this with Kalos in a previous video. I think Sword and Shield actually did that, and I think they did it quite well. I, I, I think Sword and Shield gets a bit of a bad rap in the community because of the negatives that existed there for some of the positives that they also did. Kevin Neely Jr. says, I hope the new mechanic is similar to Mega Evolution in, a certain, in that a certain Pokemon can evolve for a certain amount of time and become stronger. Listen, if they're going to bring back a mechanic that similar to Mega Evolution, just bring back Mega Evolution. It's funny, Gigantamax is very similar to Mega Evolution but people didn't really seem to like it when they did it in that way. Zoro, Zomarian, I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize. Return of Kalo starters, each with the Battle Bond ability and Battle Bond forms with a, uh, with, that have design elements that change based on your player character, like it was theorized in Generation 7. In terms of mechanics, no invisible walls in the overworld, overworld battles, and side activities. For that second part, I agree with you. It's just natural for the evolution of an open world game. First part, I don't think we're going to see Battle Bond again. I think that was only something that was created for Greninja because the anime did it. And I don't think we're going to see Battle Bond again. If you're a fan of Kalos, unfortunately, if you're someone like me who didn't really get into the anime that deeply, it kind of it is what it is. Lee Walker says, my only hope is that the EXP share can be turned off. Literally my only hope. I agree. It, it just makes it... There's no argument. There's these two things that Pokemon games need to do in the future, and they never will for some reason, that I don't think is arguable. It's the fact that the experience share needs to be something that's toggleable, and the fact that we need difficulty settings. The experience share would act as a quasi-difficulty setting to be able to turn it off, but Game Freak clearly doesn't want to do that. Chronically Cal says, All I want is for the ability to choose which Pokemon is leading off in a wild battle as easily as I can in Legends. It uh, Removing it would cause so much tedium to switching up. It removed so much tedium of switching to your most effective Pokemon. I misread that. Yes, I agree. You should be able to choose on the fly what Pokemon you send out. I think that's, as I mentioned with one of the first screenshots of your comments, I think that's another quality of life feature that just, it, it has to come back. Soulguard104 says, might be an unpopular opinion, but I really hope they drop the action aspects for Scarlet and Violet. I love Legends, but it should stay a spinoff series. If you're talking about like the ability for Pokemon to hurt you in the overworld, your ability to, for example, drown when you go into lakes and things of that nature, I don't think all of that will be in Scarlet and Violet. I think some of that, the action RPG pieces, will probably be saved for Legends games if the plan is for Legends games to continue. If the plan is not for Legends games to continue, I think you're going to see at least a handful of those features moved into the mainline games or the the generation games. Legends is mainline, let's keep in mind here, but we'll see how they choose to approach Legends as a franchise or as an aspect of the franchise moving forward. I think that's going to impact a lot of their decisions with relation to this comment. Rice and Chicken is the best. Both are pretty good. Says, my biggest hope is that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have new past trainers that we could battle like Iris, Diantha, uh, it's since it's close to, to Kalos. It would work like the battle tree in Sun and Moon, but this time not Cynthia, Red and Blue instead of Iris and Diantha. I would love to see that. I have no I have no objection to seeing some past champions again. I think that would be awesome. Brandon Powell says, Pokemon to follow you again. It made sense why it made sense why they didn't in Legends, but I think now it shouldn't be an issue. I agree. Very simple. Following Pokemon should be a staple in every game. Etika Score Bunny says, no more buildings for aesthetics only, a Hawlucha evolution, and a Sprigatito final evolution that's grass and fairy, a quadruped with Moonblast and Nasty Plot. Are you a competitive player? I couldn't, I couldn't tell. I have no problem with any of these. All buildings I think should be able to be entered and explored. I have no problem with that. A Hawlucha evolution. Hawlucha is an awesome Pokemon that I think needs to get more love. And Sprigatito staying on all fours. I am absolutely all for that. Eric says, voice acting. 
I agree. Even if it's bad voice acting, I got into this debate on the Dynamax podcast a couple months back when it comes to uh, if the voice acting is bad, would you still want it? And I would. I think voice acting needs to come into Pokemon. I think that it's something that it's it's long overdue. Most modern RPGs have some form of voice acting. They usually have the Japanese voice acting and then they have an English version as well. And in games like Fire Emblem, you can actively choose which you want to listen to. So I think those things are just obvious. Those are the 16 comments I wanted to react to today. Not a huge handful, but I felt that the last reaction video I did went a little long, so I wanted to cut it back. We're going to do more of these in the future. I think this is a really fun way to engage with you guys, especially in a time where we don't have a ton of news for Scarlet and Violet. So if you want me to do more videos like this, kind of the reverse, what do you hope doesn't happen? Let me know in the comments section down below. And that's been the video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button You will and turn on that notification bell so you never miss any other new videos. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.